I've set up a trading system that automatically displays my chosen moving averages on any chart I open. This makes it really easy and quick for me to analyze the market. You can set this up yourself on any trading platform, since moving averages are a standard indicator available on all platforms. So, you'll need to adjust your moving average settings to fit the current market conditions. There's no one-size-fits-all moving average crossover that works in every market. You'll need to regularly practice and tweak your settings to find what works best for you. With my trading setup, the moving averages automatically adjust based on the chart's time frame, allowing me to scan the entire stock market for stocks that behave similarly. You might agree with this. Here's what most market experts and new traders say about moving averages. You use short-term and long-term moving averages to decide when to buy or sell, based on when they cross each other. So, you buy when the averages cross upwards, the price rises, and you make a profit. Then you sell, and profit again. It seems like making money is simple. But here's the catch. This kind of success only happens about 20% of the time. Check out this chart. It shows what a typical trading day looks like. It's pretty confusing, right? There's no clear pattern, and it's hard to make a profit with all the ups and downs and false signals. If you're trying to trade based on moving average crossovers in a market like this, you could quickly lose your money. From my 15 years of trading experience, I can tell you that moving average crossovers don't always work as well as many courses claim. So, in the next few minutes, I'll reveal the key secrets about moving averages, show you how to use them correctly, and explain how I incorporate crossovers into my trading strategy. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give us a like to show your support. So, why are moving average crossovers so popular? The reason is that moving averages are trend indicators, and since the start of trading, you've been told that the trend is your friend. So trading gurus and indicator developers want to make everything easy with clever ideas. That is, starting with the magic question, why don't you use two or three moving averages to increase your chances? But here's the hard truth every new trader needs to understand. After 15 years of trading, I've found that moving average crossovers don't work well on shorter time frames. In fact, they often cause more harm than good. I have created and tested hundreds, if not thousands of moving averages combinations. Some worked okay, but others could wreck your account. From my experience, trading crossovers on 1 minute, 5 minute or 15 minute charts is usually a tough game. If you discover a magical moving average crossover strategy that consistently works well on shorter time frames, please share it with me. Or, alternatively, if you have developed a highly successful moving average crossover strategy that consistently works well on shorter time frames like on 1 minute, 5 minute, or 15 minute charts, you could consider selling it online to new traders around the world. On the other hand, the situation is different with higher time frames. On higher time frames, we have a different story, and you may be able to make significant profits from your moving averages crossover trading strategy. However, it's important to understand why trading crossovers on lower time frames can be risky. This approach often results in frustration and poor performance. Let me explain the potential dangers and why this strategy might not work well in the short term. The biggest and unavoidable limitation of the moving average indicator is that it always lags behind the actual price. The price moves first, and only after that does the moving average respond. This means that if you use a moving average crossover strategy, your trading signals will always be delayed compared to the current market price. Essentially, the moving average is a trend following tool, which means it can only show you when a trend is already underway. This illustrates how the moving average reflects past price movements, rather than providing real-time predictions. When using moving averages for trading, it's important to understand the issue of noise. Moving averages are great tools because they help smooth out the erratic fluctuations in price data, making it easier to see and follow the overall market trends. However, moving averages are not perfect and still have to deal with market noise. Noise refers to the random and unpredictable price movements that can make it hard to interpret market trends accurately. The more intense the noise, the less reliable the moving average indicator becomes. For instance, on shorter time frames like 1 minute, 5 minute, or 15 minute charts, you may encounter many false signals, especially when the market is consolidating or experiencing high volatility. This happens because the price is fluctuating rapidly, which can lead to misleading signals from the moving average.
Another problem with using the moving average crossover system is when the market is moving sideways. Trading with a crossover strategy in a sideways market can be really frustrating. Sideways markets, where prices move in a narrow range without clear direction, are challenging no matter if you're trading on short time frames like 1 minute, 5 minute, or 15 minute charts, or on longer ones like daily, weekly, or monthly charts. Your stop loss might not work effectively, and no matter which moving average you use, the crossover strategy just doesn't perform well in these conditions. So, if you're a day trader, it's best to avoid using crossover strategies on shorter time frames. They can quickly drain your account. But don't worry, there's a better way to use moving averages. I'll show you how. Moving averages are great tools for figuring out the trend direction of your trading instrument. While understanding price action and market structure should be your main focus, you can quickly get a sense of the market trend just by checking the slope of the moving average line. Here's how to use moving averages effectively. First, use them to identify and confirm the market trend. Since moving averages are lagging indicators, you can look at the slope to see the trend. If the line is sloping upward, it's an uptrend. If it's sloping downward, it's a downtrend. You can also use the position of the price relative to the moving average line to guide your trades. If the price is above the moving average, you should focus on looking for buy trades. On the other hand, if the price is below the moving average, you should look for sell opportunities. A stock or currency pair is in an uptrend when the price is above the moving average and the moving average line is sloping upward. Conversely, it's in a downtrend when the price is below the moving average and the line is sloping downward. Another way to use moving averages is as support and resistance levels. This method is commonly used by price action traders. For these traders, moving averages can act as dynamic support and resistance areas because they adjust based on recent price movements. Since many traders follow moving averages, you'll often see them working well as support and resistance levels on charts. The simple moving average can serve as a dynamic support or resistance level. Additionally, the space between two moving averages can also act as a dynamic support or resistance zone. Long-term moving averages, like the 200-period moving average, are considered more significant for price levels and tend to give fewer false signals compared to shorter-term moving averages. Let's talk again about moving average crossovers. This system works well and can accurately catch trends when the market is moving strongly in one direction. However, in a sideways market, where prices are stuck in a range, this system can lead to many losing trades, which can be risky for your account. On shorter time frames, like 1 minute or 5 minute charts, the odds are even less favorable. So, are moving average crossovers worthless? Not really. For traders and investors who use longer time frames, like daily, weekly, or even monthly charts, moving averages are much more effective and can provide more reliable signals. But there's another issue to consider. The moving average crossover system often works on a stop and reverse basis. This means you're always in the market with this strategy. When a new signal comes up, you exit your current position and enter a new one in the opposite direction. At first, this strategy might seem straightforward and easy to use, whether you're trading manually or with a robot. But in reality, even on longer time frames, it can be quite risky. In this scenario, trends often move in a smooth manner, which makes them easy to analyze using the moving average indicator. However, such smooth trends are rare, so relying solely on moving average crossovers may not always be effective. A more reliable approach is to open a trading position only after the trend is clearly established. For instance, you should consider buying only when there is a clear bullish trend, indicated by rising prices and the price being above the long-term moving average line, which should also be trending upwards. Additionally, it's wise to wait for a price correction, where the market temporarily moves down before resuming its upward trend, and only then look for a bullish signal to enter a buy position. To minimize losses, remember to wait for the complete formation of a candlestick before entering a trade based on a buy signal. Many traders have made the mistake of trading on a crossover signal before the candlestick closed, which often leads to poor trades. By waiting for the candlestick to close and confirm the signal, you can avoid many problematic entries and improve your trading outcomes. Once you enter a trade, there are several ways to manage it to boost your profits and reduce risk if the market moves against you. With the moving average crossover strategy, you typically stay in the trade until you get an opposite signal. This means you're always in the market, waiting for the signal to exit. 
Many new traders follow this method because it seems like the standard approach. But from my experience, this method can be inconsistent because its success depends a lot on market behavior. Often, it's why traders end up exiting the market too late, which can hurt your profits. Instead, try using other strategies like setting a fixed profit target, using Fibonacci extensions to set targets, or looking at visual support and resistance levels. These methods might help you manage your trades better. Personally, I find that using a fixed profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 3 works really well. Next, I'll show you the best settings for combining moving average indicators based on different time frames. This will be a valuable tool if you're using the moving average crossover strategy. I personally use different moving averages depending on the chart and time frame. For H4 charts and shorter, I use EMA 34 and EMA 14. On daily charts, I use EMA 200 and EMA 50. For weekly and monthly charts, I go with EMA 100 and EMA 20. These settings help me find good buy entries on stocks and currency pairs with strong fundamentals, but they aren't set in stone. It really depends on the specific stocks and currencies you're trading. I've set up a trading system that automatically displays my chosen moving averages on any chart I open. This makes it really easy and quick for me to analyze the market. You can set this up yourself on any trading platform, since moving averages are a standard indicator available on all platforms. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart, and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. However, you can use other moving average settings for your own crossover signals. The market changes over time, sometimes it trends smoothly, and other times it's erratic and directionless. So, you'll need to adjust your moving average settings to fit the current market conditions. There's no one-size-fits-all moving average crossover that works in every market. You'll need to regularly backtest and tweak your settings to find what works best for you. With my trading setup, the moving averages automatically adjust based on the chart's time frame, allowing me to scan the entire stock market for stocks that behave similarly. As always, if you learn something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time.